As we come to day seven in our prayer for life, I invite you to hear the word of the Lord in Isaiah chapter five and verse 20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So today we come to pray for the media and their coverage as we deal with this issue of abortion. CWA lifts a prayer for the media. Because of you, Lord, we are not afraid to stand against impossible odds. What is impossible in our minds, you perform each day with ease. Blessed be your name in all the earth. We trust you, Abba, Father. We rely on you and submit to you Thy will be done in America. We continue to pray against the evil of abortion, asking for a good outcome in the upcoming Dobbs case. We know, Lord, how influential the media can be, and so we come to you asking for help. Do not let those who seek to deceive get their way. Do not let those who are blind to lead astray. Those who do not know any better Plant those few lighthouses in the media high above all others. Let a light, few righteous voices be more effective than an entire battalion of the enemy's forces. Let the light of truth disperse all darkness, be it intentional or born of ignorance. Let confusion define the enemy's plans. May their communications be fragmented and disjointed. Let a cloud of ineffectiveness cover them while the cries of justice grow with ease. Let the cleverness of the world come to nothing and let your saints become more creative than ever. Open the eyes, hearts, and minds of our fellow citizens. Let, us, let them run to the light. Help us speak words of life with passion and conviction, with love for all who hear, with the awareness of our own failings, empower the voices of pro-life women in particular, asking all in the faith of our Lord and through the Spirit, we lift this prayer. Amen.